My name is Nicole Thompson. I'm also known as the Urban School Psychologist. And my chapter um, discusses, which all our chapters do, about our journey, which led us to where we are now. Um, I've been working in Philly, the school district of Philadelphia, for the last five years in a large urban high school, Franklin High School, if anybody knows. Um, and I went through my own adverse childhood experiences. And now I've created a trauma-informed uh, training care for educators to reach the students so they can improve their learning outcomes. Hey, my name is Daphne Fuller. I'm the founder of Black Minds of Meditation as well as Therapeutic Solutions and Wellness. And Black Minds of Meditation is actually my chapter, which I'll be sharing a little more with you. But it focuses on sharing more holistic practices within the black community, just trying to get us more aware of things. We are becoming aware, but what really got me is when I went into um, my yoga teacher training and there was only yes. myself. And then another person actually came in, but just going to yoga classes, I didn't see a lot of us. Going to Reiki, um, learning Reiki, it wasn't us teaching it. And if you go back to comedic yoga and Reiki, um, we, it's been there. So it was important for me to get this started back. So that is what I'm here for and that is my mission for. I believed with all my heart that she was selfish and could not possibly love my siblings and me because she left us. It was not until my early 20s that I realized that it wasn't selfishness. Somehow, a couple of my friends and I had gotten on the topic of moms, and I lashed out in anger, as I usually did, concerning mine. I became more compassionate towards my parents. So then I feel like now we have a better relationship because I was able to put that meanness and that strictness to the side and look at it the lens of depression. What could drive my mom to where she was? And even the fact that she witnessed her, or not witnessed, but her boyfriend was murdered while she was pregnant. Like, that's enough to send you into a depression. And if you don't- I'm just curious, what's your exposure to seniors, especially older black seniors, um, exploring Therapy. And I've noticed the more that I've changed, I've been able to, able to get my parents into other things like burning stage, using Palo Santo, using copper bracelets for things like um, arthritis. So sometimes you have to take it back door because some of the things they are they know about, they did it way back when, but somewhere along the way we got away from that. So even if we can't get them to go to mental health therapy, maybe we can have a conversation with them about herbs and see what they use when they were coming up. What did grandma tell you to use for this and that? Because as we know, one thing, may it be basil or whatever, rosemary, it helps in so many other ways. Uh, it helps my with mom's it. pretty much, you know, my best friend, so I, I do share with her a lot. And so I'm kind of in that space right now where it's like, I don't know what to tell her, but she knows that go to therapy, but then I feel like I don't want to tell her and then she automatically feels like I'm attacking her. And if you see her growing during your healing journey, then you start to spoon feed her information. See how she takes it. If she takes it wrong, stop. If, if she takes it good, then you keep giving her more and more and more. And she'll start to heal as well. That routine, I'm like, okay, I meditated this morning. And I did write in my journal. And I did drink a you know, smoothie and I can't handle the day. But if I don't, that man is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed, and all of a sudden I went, <sighs> And I took the deepest breath and I was like looking around like it was me. It was me and it felt good. I'm looking to have people come and speak to my children about mental health. So are you guys doing that? So what I do now, um, I do from the schools, I teach the educators, right? Um, different strategies to teach the students because it's better coming from a person that they already know and trust. Opening up your diaphragm, expanding your lungs, and then on your exhale, allowing the air to release slowly through your nostrils, lowering your belly, relaxing your shoulders. 